cruise news time. Well, I've got an incredible story of a cruise canceled because of a water shortage. Also, Disney Cruise Line. Could you imagine Disney Cruise Line having the world's largest cruise ship? Disney Cruise Line getting in the mega cruise ship business. And while the rumors have been swirling around in New York that a cruise ship may be used to house migrants that have come to the city over the last few months, and uh, we'd heard that the leading cruise line was NCL, well, apparently that's no longer true. We got a New York migrant cruise ship NCL update. Cruise news and my views. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and views for Sunday, October the 11th, 2022. That's right, folks. Sometimes in my life, I have no idea what day it is. I sit down to edit here, and I see that the calendar on my computer says October the 8th. And I was like, wow, I think on the video I said October the 10th. I said October the 11th. Look, it's, uh, well, you'll, it's still Saturday night, October the 8th. Uh, and so this is the show for October the 9th. And so uh, disregard. I, I got calendars. I don't, I don't know what day it is. Uh, but look, we got a good show. Uh, how y'all doing? All right, here we go. Here's the rest of the lead up to the show. Uh, well, to, to be fully transparent, it's Saturday night. Saturday night and I ain't got nobody. I got some money because I just got paid. That's your song for the day. Uh, who sang it? I don't even know that one. I'll have to look it up. Uh, but yeah, so I'm recording it Saturday night because I'm on a travel day. On a travel day going to Jacksonville and Jekyll Island. I don't know when I'll be back, but uh, let's talk about some cruise news. Cruise news story number one, a fantastical story of a fantastical voyage. Uh, World-leading cruise line, Viking River. Well, did you know they had a river cruise here in the United States? A big old river cruise, 13 stops from New Orleans up to St. Paul, Minnesota on the Viking Mississippi and uh, well it's a it's a premium cruise it was going on this past week and they they had to cut it short because of a water shortage now we're not talking about bottled water on the cruise ship we're talking about there's not enough water in the Mississippi River to get this cruise ship from New Orleans all the way up to St. Paul Minnesota Viking released this statement, unusually low water levels along the Mississippi River have caused sections of the river to be closed, impacting all northbound and southbound shipping traffic. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is working to deepen the shipping canal in some sections, but the closures have caused delays that will prevent the Viking Mississippi from completing the sailing underway and from reaching St. Paul for her next scheduled departure on October the 15th. All impacted guests and their travel advisors, if necessary, have been notified directly. At this time, we expect to operate all future departures of the Viking Mississippi as scheduled. That one's pretty wild. I mean, we know about the droughts. We've heard about some challenges for river cruising in Europe. Uh, but yeah, who would have thought that you would go on a cruise and the thing that would cancel your cruise would be lack of water for the cruise vessel to cruise on? Wild. Wild stuff. What do you think? Have you ever been on a river cruise? I've been challenged to go on a river cruise. I think I'd want to go on the one in Europe. However, there's like no casinos and really no shows. It's all about the ports. Uh, have you been on a river cruise? Is this the time of your life? Is this something we should try? Leave a comment below. Cruise news story number two. Let's pack our bags and head to New York City. New York City where the mayor there, Eric Adams, has been talking about uh, renting... Uh, chartering a cruise ship to house migrant workers. And there's all kinds of talk going on. This is fairly politicized, but we don't really care about the political aspect of it. But there was a report out last week from the New York Post saying that the mayor's office and a cruise line that we all know, Norwegian Cruise Line, they were close to making a deal. The rumors even had it that it was going to be the breakaway, which is uh, the cruise ship that we're piling a bunch of people on in January for the big vloggers extravaganza. And so uh, there, there was some trepidation. There was some uh, concern around our house about that. But the word has come out today that, well, NCL is just too dang expensive. Too expensive for New York City. Uh, we are hearing that there are other four other cruise lines in play, including Carnival Cruise Lines. Uh, New York City trying to get a cheaper 
option. City officials there are saying that nothing's close. Again, this is kind of, it feels like it's kind of pie in the sky. It does seem like there are some conversations between New York City and cruise lines, but I'd be super surprised if anything happens too sweet. It happens very quickly. But yeah, selfishly, I'm kind of glad that NCL is out of the running. Hopefully this is a viable option and there's a cruise line can help New York if this really is something that's workable, uh, but only time will tell. What do you think about all that? Leave a comment below. All right, the other story that's kind of been tweaking my brain a little bit for the last few days is, could you imagine Disney Cruise Line having the world's largest cruise ship? Could you imagine Disney Cruise Line being in the mega ship business? Well, I think it's getting close. It's getting close to be a reality if rumors are to be true. I'm going to tell you all about it, but first, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, Please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Well, the cruise ship in question is a cruise ship called the Global Dream. They're over at the Meyer Werft Shipyard, and uh, they were being built for the Dream Cruises, which was owned by Genting, and Genting had financial trouble. And so now there's this cruise ship that's almost finished that houses 9,000 passengers, has almost a full amusement park on it, or a, a ship size amusement park on it. Uh, the, the question is, that is it going to be sold to someone, or is it going to be scrapped? And the rumor right now is this ship may get sold to Disney Cruise Line. Why would Disney Cruise Line want this cruise ship? Well, guess who built their last cruise ship? Guess who built the Disney Wish? That same Meyer Verf shipyard. And so, um, yeah, there, there could be some synergies there between the shipbuilders and the Disney company. And then think about this. Uh, Disney does a great job at selling out their cruises. They get a premium for their cruises. Uh, the Disney faithful love to show up for the Disney cruise. And what if they could get this brand new piece of hardware at a big discounted rate? Because really, again, the, the company either has to sell it or scrap it. And so uh, it could be a bargain. I, I don't know. I think it's a great story. Uh, I, I don't know if people think of Disney as like, oh, I'm going on a small, intimate experience. Uh, I went on one of the older Disney cruise ships, and it, it was small. Of course, it was during the shutdown time, so there was reduced capacity. But yeah, I could, I could see Disney taking one of these big ships and really blowing it out and putting a lot of people on board. And if they could get it for the price that they get for their smaller cruise ships, it seems like it would be a win-win. But uh, I, let me ask the Disney faithful out there. Do you want a, a mega ship for your Disney cruising? Or do you think the size of the Disney ships are fine as they are? I know even on the Disney Wish, there were some things like the, I think the Star Wars bar that you almost got waitlisted to get into. It was hard to get into. So maybe having some more real estate and some more space, even though you're going to put more people on there, maybe that will make it easier and lessen some of the lines on Disney cruises. I don't know. It would be interesting. I would hate to think that this brand new cruise ship is going to get scrapped. And so if Disney is a great option to buy it, I, I would say that's good. Uh, but yeah, Disney faithful, what say you? Hi ho! Hi ho! It's off to work we go. What, what would you do? Would you buy this mega cruise ship? I don't know. Uh, leave a comment below. Thank you so much for checking out the show today. I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. I hope your favorite football team is winning their football games. Uh, I, I don't even cheer for football until it gets to the playoffs. So I don't know how my team's doing or who my team's even going to be. But uh, are you watching football today? And if you're not watching football on a Sunday, what do you watch? What, what, are, what are you watching today? Uh, curiosity has got me, got the best of me. Uh, do me a solid, hit the like button. And unfortunately, if you do not hit the like button, I will be forced to punish you. And your punishment will be this for the next seven days, the se next seven business days that you go to work. Uh, well, you will have to dress up like one of the seven dwarfs. And uh, you'll have to alternate. So each day you'll be a different dwarf. That means on one day you'll be dopey. Uh, you could be dopey every day. I don't know you personally. But uh, yeah, that's going to be your punishment. Hit the like button or your, your new work attire is going to be dwarf attire. Um, Pickaxe and all. Did you see the time I went on the Disney cruise ship? I cried like a baby. They, look. I really, I could say more about Disney, but if you want my thoughts on the Disney cruise line, check out this video next. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.